Hello viewers and welcome back to yet another edition of The Viewpoint. I am Sajja Brito. Well, Gambian stakeholders were in Senegal a couple of weeks ago to confront the issue of aflatoxin and food safety in general. And joining me today to further that discussion, please welcome to the show Ndei Nafisise, Parker Country Officer, and of course, Dr. Ramunjai from the Medical Research Council, and Lamin Jaite from the Food Safety and Quality Authority of the Gambia. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's start. Okay, now I'm confused as to who to start with, whether I should start with the scientist or the doctor, but I will probably start with you, um, Lamin. What are aflatoxins and why is it particularly a threat to sub-Saharan Africa? Uh, we are talking about uh, mycotoxins produced by uh, a species of fungi called aspergillus. And then uh, this aspergillus, they produce uh, different types of metabol secondary metabolites. And then these secondary metabolites causes uh, cancer to humans. And then uh, you have uh, different types of metabolites, produce secondary metabolites produced by this uh, aspergillus. That is the B1, B2, and then G1 and G2. But then the B1 is the most potent of all, among the, all f uh, among the four of the uh, secondary metabolites. So when it comes to uh, um, the, this side of the sub-Saharan Africa, because the fungus thrives at uh, temperature re regions, and then uh, we are within the tropical zone, and then that's why uh, it's very prevalent in our region. Nde, I understand that um, you guys are working towards including the Aflatoxin Action Plan in the National Development Plan. How is that coming along? Um, actually, let me just first of all start with a brief background on uh, what my work entails. I am basically the country officer here for the Partnership for Aflatoxin Control in Africa. It's an AUC flagship program, and basically it started back in 2012, and they're looking towards the mitigation of aflatoxin in crops within the whole African continent, because based on the African continent's location, it's temperate. Most of our staple crop crops and our cash crops are all affected. So what was um, agreed upon by heads of state was the need for the African Union to do something about it. So this brought about the uh, the advent of the PACA. It's currently in pilot, on, um, on pilot in six countries. In West, West Africa, it's Gambia, Senegal, and uh, Nigeria. And uh, other parts of Africa, it's Uganda, Tanzania, and uh, Malawi. So uh, what we're trying to do is basically get together the relevant stakeholders, which is made basically the Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Trade, and the Ministry of Health because the impact of aflatoxins is cross-cutting. So these two ministries, these three ministries need to come together. In the case of the Gambia, because we have a food safety and quality authority, which is um, new to the region, that's why I'm currently housed at the FSQA, to basically help in coordinating these three ministries to implement what they're doing. Now coming back to your question with regards to the mainstreaming, what we did was we had a um, country situational analysis and action plan that basically showed that the Gambia has a problem with aflatoxins and what the issues were. Mostly, awareness was a big problem that they realized from policy makers to the farmers. Other areas was the fact that we're having our crops returned. Another issue that we are yet to really look at is also at the level of the local markets, what we're eating, the, the uh, safety of it. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we basically came up with a National Aflatoxin Control Investment and Action Plan, which was validated in 2016. And during that 2016, uh, the Packer Country Office and FSQ worked very hard in having it uh, mainstream. And we were able to have it mainstreamed in the National Development Plan and uh, on the agriculture, the section for agriculture. So now we're trying to have sectors, trade, um, health, agriculture, to basically have it in their sectoral work plans to show that uh, there's country ownership and commitment by actually ensuring that there's sustainability as well. So this is where we're at. Uh, That's actually quite interesting. Now, Doctor, what is the extent of aflatoxin exposure among Gambians? Uh, thank you, um, uh, Saijo. Uh, just to, uh, again, give a brief um, outline of what I do. So I actually work for the World Health Organization's International Agency for Research in Cancer. The head office is in Lyon, France, and here I'm based inside MRC, but we do clinics all over the country in Keneba, Farafenye, Bansang, and Basse. Uh, a lot of work has been done in the past, actually, uh, on aflatoxin exposure in the Gambia. And virtually 
everybody that was tested had evidence of aflatoxin exposure in their blood. I think it's a matter of degree. Uh, some regions or some certain geographical regions seem to have more exposure uh, than others. Now, uh, as both uh, Lamin and Deinafi have told you, um, the aflatoxin is in our major food crops. So people eat groundnuts, bahal, chura agerte, domoda, roasted peanuts, boiled peanuts in all its forms. And these crops are very susceptible. So my interest is the actual health effects of chronic aflatoxin exposure on its own. That's the first thing, which are considerable. Uh, uh, and secondly, the devastating consequences of having both hepatitis B and aflatoxin. Just to give you an example, so in children, um, children who are exposed to aflatoxin, and studies have been done in the Gambia to show that babies, some babies are actually exposed to aflatoxin while they're still in the womb. And this has an effect on the growth of these babies. Uh, they, have, uh, they are poor to thrive, they're susceptible, their immune system is suppressed to an extent even worse than HIV. That means that they are susceptible to so many infections. And so they do not grow, they get stunted, their brains don't develop, and that has huge ramifications for society. The chronic exposure in uh, uh, association with hepatitis B is one of the main causes of liver cancer in this country. And liver cancer is the top, is the number one cancer that kills more Gambian men in the 30s, 40s and 50s uh, compared to all other cancers combined. So you can, uh, we have a national cancer registry that collects information on all cancers that are diagnosed up and down the country from Banjul to, to Basse. And we know that liver cancer is up there uh, and uh, the uh, liver cancer uh, burden is, is really due to aflatoxin and hepatitis B. So it's a critical uh, thing for us. Yes, uh, the trade is important. Um, agriculture is important. But the health effects are really devastating for us because, as Nainafi told you, when we have crops returned because they have failed the aflatoxin levels mm -hmm. in whichever country we've taken them to, they tend to come back here. And then they're sold in the market. So. Uh, even when in, in the UK, they'll say the aflatoxin is too high for our birds. This, these groundnuts are not good enough for bird, bird feed. They come back and they end up in our markets here and people are eating them. So we have a lot of education and awareness raising to do to explain to people the devastating consequences of aflatoxin uh, on our health, on our population health. That's quite interesting. Now, Lamin, uh, I, there is something that really surprised me. The fact that the groundnut that is exported uh, from Gambia is not even fed to human beings or just normal animals. It is actually fed to wild animals. Mm -hmm. What is your take on that? Uh, that's, the, that's the alarming part because uh, the groundnut we export to the European market uh, export as wild animal feed, not animal feed it itself. It's wild animal feed. So that shows uh, the level of contamination in our, in our groundnut. And then uh, it, it's a problem that happened because uh, it is happening from, from, from the farm all the way to uh, the processing to the export. So what we have been doing uh, is uh, trying to in, in engage agriculture in trying to ensure that they revive their farmer training schools so that the farmers start paying attention to the problem from the farm. because. Uh, there is a lot of factors that contribute to this aflatoxin problem. One of them is uh, stress caused by drought, uh, and then some of it is caused by uh, pre and post harvest, uh, uh, how do you call it, processes that uh, the, the, the produce go on a through. So what they need to pay attention to is when to harvest, because timely harvesting is very important, and then uh, when they are storing, storing their groundnuts as well, how to store, store, store the ground as well. These are very, very important uh, things that they should, they should look at. 
So, so the problem is a, is a difficult problem to address because we have, as you know, ground up is the main class, class crop in the Gambia. So if you want to uh, go out there and condemn the groundnuts, all the groundnuts that are available in the market, it will be a devastating effect. So, so the best approach is to see how best we can address the problem, and that's why we came up with the, the National uh, Aflatoxin Investment Plan, that's, that's the NACI. Mm -hmm. So this is a 10-year uh, plan that we, we intend to use in collaboration with PACA as a country uh, to, to solve this problem we have. It's a big challenge, and then we need everybody on board to address the problem. And then let's talk about the trade aspect, because Ga um, Africa loses over an estimated 670 million US dollars mm -hmm. on um, international trade. Yeah. What, what do you make of that? Well, to talk about what Lamin says, because apart from the drudgery of agriculture, and to not even get um, any meaningful money in return for it due to the low cost of it. Just this year alone, the first quarter of this year, 2018, a number of consignments were actually re returned uh, as unfit. Even uh, if it's returned, it's deemed even unfit for animal, animal feed. Just the first quarter. So since then, I'm not sure what has been, what has transpired, because this was reported in the National Conference on Aflatoxin that, uh, that we held in June. And this was reported, and it was quite alarming, because um, based on some of the work that I'm supposed to be coordinating, agriculture has been very supportive of the advocacy part of the NACAIP, and they have funded a number of campaigns that I've done with Countrywide, uh, which I did together with the uh, Ministry of Agriculture. And what we realized was that there is a level of awareness of what aflatoxin is. But understanding of it stops and um, where they think that they get less money for it. But when we started talking about the health implications of it, we started to see more attention from the farmers that we were talking to. So um, not to cause any alarm, but to inform them that it's not just about getting less money for it. We're talking about the well-being of yourself and your children, because Dr. Ramu talked about stunting and malnutrition. Two regions in this country have actually been identified as the most um, impacted in that regard. Dandamburi and I believe Basse have been uh, identified with the regions that are most impacted in this regard. Um, so we will have to have another discussion, I'm hoping to bring trade in, because they collect the numbers of the consignment. But I can report that just this year alone, the first quarter, about 12 consignments were, were rejected, uh, Gambian groundnuts. I'm also working with the ATTC, IITA, who have basically come up with um, biocontrol, it's natural, called aflacid, which uh, together we've been working with the farmers with regards to applying it, because the efficacy test of this aflacid was done in 2014, and the results showed that it was very uh, successful. So the Gambia Grano Corporation, together with a number of farmers, have been uh, using this aflacid, together with good agricultural practices, because without the application of good agricultural practices, we will always have the same problems. So it starts at the farm, with the farmers, with the help of the extension officers. As La Mandelte has indicated, it's very important that we revive these uh, farmer field schools and maybe upgrade the farmer field school manuals so that good agricultural practices are in place and monitored, and then the application of this aflacid will help because it basically suppresses the strength of the natural, naturally occurring um, fungus, the um, aflatoxin. But apart from that, harvesting and laying it on the floor is another problem because it needs to be in an elevated area and spread out so that there's some sort of aeration of these crops to dry properly. And then storing it again, going back to the good agricultural practices, you have to implement how to store, putting it on platforms and not laying it on the floor, under the bed or on the wall. So these are, these are areas that we've been working on together, working on together with the Ministry of Agriculture, National Agriculture Research Institute, who basically are the only lab here at the moment who conduct um, tests for yeah, aflatoxin yeah. levels. And uh, it's work in progress, uh, but we'll, we'll keep soldiering on. But going back to the trade, definitely it's a problem. And it has the um, impact of low wages for the, for the farmers. They're not able to take care of their children, pay for school, medical bills. So there's this serious vicious cycle 
by just not taking care of the crops from, from the farm onwards. So it all goes back to the entire value chain? Yes, along the whole value chain, actually, because we have the serious issue, Dr. Ramu will help me with that, with the dege, where most of the um, rotten groundnuts are basically just crushed together because it's uh, processed into dege and you can't really you can tell. tell. Mm -hmm. So it's a serious problem, even though, to be fair, during the campaigns that we did with the funding of the NEMA project under the Ministry of Agriculture, we went to the um, Birkama Sandika and the Serapunda Sandika, and they were not alerted. It was just on the spot. And we did see that there was some level of sorting and uh, taking, getting rid of the bad, the bad nuts and basically processing the good ones that we saw. But the thing is, how do we know that all of the dege in the Serapunda market are actually from behind that Sandika that is basically following the rules? They even showed me a certificate that they got from the FSQA to show that they're following the rules. But when I asked if all the um, degas, the peanut butter paste that are being brought into the market are actually from them, that could not be confirmed. So others coming from elsewhere to be sold, you can't really basically confirm that it's safe for human consumption. Thank you, um, they, I'll get back to you. Now, Doctor, when we attended the Parker platform meeting, mm -hmm. there was this guy from the EU, mm -hmm. and he was like, we're here talking about aflatoxins, mm -hmm. but the EU is planning to make it even harder by adding 24 Mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. uh, mycotoxins. Mm -hmm. What do you make of that? Well, it uh, 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 potentially um, could be even um, worse for us in terms of access to European markets because mycotoxins are this group of fungi. So fung oh, you know, fungus is all fungi. Mm -hmm. So aflatoxin, uh, the fungus that produces aflatoxin is one, Just one of, of, a, yeah, of group. a group. And sometimes you have more than one fungus actually affecting the crop, two, three. So um, uh, I think, again, in every challenge, I think there's an opportunity. I think it's going to be a challenge um, um, because one of our challenges is the availability of labs, actually, laboratories. Because and this goes with a lot of research. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the availability of laboratories, so a lot of the research that was done uh, even in MRC um, uh, a couple of decades ago, the, the, the blood samples were taken and, 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 and processed um, somewhere else in the UK and so on. And, and, and I know that uh, uh, the FSQA, I, I, you know, having spoken to Lamin before and, uh, and Zainab Jalo, that the FSQA does not actually have labs. And so uh, some of the samples that have to be tested have to be sent outside. Now, if we are going to tackle this problem, I think we need some kind of investment. Now, Parker has, has uh, helped by bringing in uh, machines. Uh, I think the Parker machine is at Nari, is it? Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's at Nari, so they can do testing there. But you know, we need to be able to do more testing. We need to be able to do testing closer to home and be able to take action. And, and, and one of the things we want to do in terms of research really is to see whether uh, if the farmers consume, say, crops that have been treated with the aflasafe that uh, Dana Fee was saying, that we can actually see a difference in the level of aflatoxin in their, in their blood. Uh, because like I told you, most Gambians have aflatoxins in our blood based on studies that have been done before. Uh, it would be interesting to repeat these studies uh, to see exactly whether aflasafe application to the crops actually has an effect on what people eat, the level of aflatoxin in people's blood. But I agree, um, if we do not tackle this problem, uh, it, 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 the, 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 there is a potential that uh, even the Asian markets we could lose because uh, if we're having 12 and more consignments being sent back, uh, it means that we really need to coordinate all efforts. It needs a coordinated effort. It cannot be just FSQA or agriculture or trade. It has to be coordinated because, as you said, at every point in the value chain, you have to know what's happening, institute the good agricultural practices, uh, make sure that the storage is... I mean, you can have aflasafe in your field and, and have groundnuts that are clean 
and then they're stored somewhere or transported wrongly and then they, they, it, it, it rains on them, they're not protected by tarpaulin and then the fungus comes. So the, 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 the infection with this fungus can happen at any stage. So this, it's really important to have a coordinated uh, and integrated approach to tackle this problem. Interesting, Doctor. Now, Lamin, how is the FSQA working towards raising awareness, awareness of the people as far as food safety is concerned? Uh, well, uh, FSQA, as the body mandated to do official control of food in the country, we have uh, a directorate that is responsible for inspection. So from the inception of FSQA to date, uh, all they have been doing is going out there, talking to f uh, these people that are dealing with these foods, and then informing them of what they need to be do, uh, doing. So most of the time when they do their inspections, what they do is they do the inspection, write their reports, give improvement notices, and ask you to do recommendations A, B, and C. And in, in all of that activities that they are doing, they are raising the awareness of people that A, B, and C that you are doing is wrong. This is how you are supposed to do it. And on top of that, uh, we have recently um, uh, have uh, we recently re designate an officer within the authority as the risk communication officer, plus an extra somebody from the media as a communication officer, so that we can raise awareness of people out there to let them know that these are the thing problems that we are having and then this is how we can address the problems. So we have been doing a bit of sensitization or awareness creation to, to elevate people's awareness and ensure that the problems we have in the country are, are effectively tackled. Well, sometimes um, I'm concerned about this because sometimes we are more concerned about satisfying international standards. Mm -hmm. We are more concerned about what we take outside there. Mm -hmm. But how about what comes into this country too? Uh, with respect to that, uh, FSQA has manned the, we have seven official border posts in the country. So through the collaboration we have been having with the uh, Gambia Revenue Authority, we have sent officers at uh, several border posts. We have officers at the Banjul Seaport, uh, which I can say, let's say, 70% of the food comes from through, through that port. And then we have somebody at uh, the Amdalai border. We have somebody at the Jiboro, uh, uh, Base, and Soma borders. So these are the busiest borders when it comes to uh, uh, food being imported into the country. So we have officers at these borders that are working in collaboration with the uh, Gambia Revenue Authority. So. The, the GRA has the manifest of all uh, consignment that are coming into the country. So when this uh, manifest is uh, uh, given to our officers, they know what is coming in, and then they are there at the right time to ensure that the, what is coming in is as per the requirements of the country. If they are, they are allowed in. If they are not, they are rejected. And then uh, recently there was a consignment of rice, a cargo of rice that was imported into the country. And then on, on arrival, the, the inspector at the uh, seaport realized that it was not fit for human consumption. So what we did was he rejected the consignment, and then the consignment was taken back to where it came from. So we have had uh, situations where we needed to destroy the consignment in country because they were expensive for them to return them back to where they came from. So we've been try trying to do a lot with respect to what comes into the country. But then last, like Dr. Ramo, Ramo, Ramo said, we need laboratories in country because some of these things we do at the border post are organic inspections that visual inspections and checks and balances trying to also ensure that what is coming in is actually safe for human consumption but then sometimes you have to go further to confirm some of these things with laboratory analysis and then we don't have anything in this country as of now so the, the most difficult thing for us now is laboratories because if we collect samples it means we have to send them to outside laboratories sometimes in Senegal, if they have the test parameters we need, otherwise to European countries, and which are very expensive and then difficult to, to, to come by. So I think uh, it's high time the, the Gambia as a country invest in laboratories, and then probably from the government or the private sector, I don't know where it, it will come from. We have to come together and ensure that we have in-house laboratories that are accredited and they can do some of the tests we want to do so that we can effectively do food controls in the country. Thank you very much, uh, Lamin JT. Legi na kama nane na njuga si kala mai allof bisi kwa deferek ni njoa setan njuga na muna understand ni kadi wa makuma se si Dr. Ramunjai. Dr. Mabaila rek njoa ni setan Taylor na njuga kadi wa tani linga hamu moja aflatoxins. Wow, aflatoxin day. Ni makuu ni faram fanche chi allof. Moi 
manam poson la dal poson bo xamne um dafa am euh domi jangoro bu ñoo oyé aspagilos daf de nek ci gerté légué légui ci dugub légué légui ci malo ah way gerté la gëna bare té poson bobu nekut lo xamné boko togé dafa dem so même so su nekké ci gerté même so togé gerté gogu aflatoxine bobu dina ci nek so lutax ñu war ko bay xel dañ ko wara bay xel parce que dafa nek lo xamné dafa am lu bare lu mo yaaxa ci wergu yaram nit sak ci xalel xale yi daf de jox xale yi ay bir bu daw daf de tax xale yi pep jangoro pep jangoro bu ñew duga ci seen yaram yi duñ maga niñ mu neen maage waye si dekk bi fi li gëna tax ñu wara bay aflatoxin xel moy ne aflatoxin daf de li ñoo woyé li ñoo woyé liver cancer moy cancer bo xamne mu ngi faxé ko ci res euh sak ci ñi nga xamne dañ am li ñoo oyé hepatitis b virus bobu itam benen pepi jangoro la bo amé pepi jangoro bobu ba paré di lekk lekk bo xamne dafa am aflatoxin ci biir euh lolu mu na gaawa ya resinit cause cancer té cancer bo xamne ci biir res wi la joggé dafa nekk lo xamne balanko yek fekana tolu na fo xamne duñ ci mun dara so motax dañ ko wara ar wara set li ñoo lek wara tan gerte gi ñoo lek gerte yu saabu yi gerte yo xamne dafa ñuul ci biir dañ ko wara tan comme niko suñ mami daan tané bala ñoo defar dégué ñu set gerte yu bax yi ñu lek loolu lepp lu bon ñu seppi ko ñu sanni ko so uh, suma um, Uh, colleagues yi ni nday na fi ñom nay la wax parce que du ca genné dafa just uh, uh, affect ñun suñu wergu yaram de waye so buggé jaay même gerté gi bitim rew do ko mëna jaay parce que ñom dañ ko dé test su féké né lu touté ci sax duñ ko nango jël waye nak su féké da nga am gerté go xamné dafa am aflatoxine mënu lo ko jaay gaay dañ ko dé délo su fi nit ñi diko lek su ko défé muy ño gaay di ñu cause problème yu bare 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 so motax mu nek luñ wara wara bayyi xel dañ ko wara bayyi xel trop waaw ndey ma bayyi la yowit nga yokasi lolu waaw comme nu docteur ama waxe rek xana ma yokasi tuuti ndik a gerte yaaga na fi yaaga ni ko nek di ko dundé di ko jaay tam pour am ci dara waye dafa melni dal fam luma la wax man defon na waxtan ak ministère of agriculture né ma project noko dépasson ñu dem ci dikka bi koñ bi chat bi chat waxtana baykat yi be pare wa amon nañ benen point def nga xamne dañ waxtana jigen ni ci marché yi waxtana ñuy process ay yoyu waye li ci jëna important moy ne du ne xamul duñ wara def de doore ko ci baykat yi waye dafa melni ci ñima ko wara wax dañ baye sen yoon te bo baye yoon bi nak ay jafé jafé rek nga sey jëlé te lool nañ né kat di dunda te li ci jëna daw yaram fa moy ne gis nañ né bu ñuy jaay dañu gënë yi nga xamné mo ci dina ñaa muy gerté saabu bi muy gerté yu pour yi nga dencé loolu sa kër pour yo li nga lék because ñun xam nañ fi especially bo démé ci ko gi ñetti yoon bé juroomi yoon juroomi bé ci semaine bi dañu lékalu am gerté so bo tané li nga xamné mo ci dina doy waar nga tek ko pour yo ya sa njogoot té yi nga fok né mo ci dina rafel nga jaay yo yo ñu jinn ko délo kon xam nga li nga lék kon doy na waar wa té ñu leen di wonné especially jigen yi nga xamné ñom ñoy toga ñoy dem ci marché ñu baye sen xel bu baaxa baax té ñu yoka sen laccé ci li ño jinda lék yu ño jinda because dem na ci be jigen joy nam pa sax bu dé fébar ben ci yo ya ko jox doom ji so koku ya ngé wañi chance mi pour mu maga ni wara maga xel bi a develop ni wara develop so ñu baye ko xel bu baax té du né rek fok nga gis né dafa saabu lool daf dé dimbalé torop lu docteur am wax it's a very good start why is fever bi mën na nek ci gerté bo xamné yo boko xolé sa bu sa ya ngi fok né mu ngi ba té yo bu woñ ko ci lab bi do mu na confirmer amut aflatoxine bi motax lu la né jaayté doon laccé it's very important pour ñu am accredited lab wax na ci angalé né bénn lab rek nañ fi am ñuy def aflatoxine testing muy naar man ñima nekk di liggéeyal muy pakka sax joxon nañ len 
equipment bu ñoo mëna gëstu pour sét ndax aflatoxine mu ngi fa ak naka la xol waye ba légui war nañu jëna dem ci kanam because suñu amul lu ñoo wax accreditation da fa tax fiñ ko bëgg yoné ñom duñ ko jox ci ram daal té accreditation bo bu government nguur bi rek ñoo sé mëna jappalé ñun ñu ci kawam because man dama liggéey ya naari dañoo liggéey very closely waye fa nguur bi dimbalé ñu ci dépasse bi mo wara soxla ci jël ben ñu mën ko def ndax mu éga fofu dama doon liggéey ministry of trade tamit bala ma fa joggé ñun doon lijanté ministry of trade ak ministry of health pour indi lu ñaw food testing lab amna ay app ba légui ñu ci kawam té am dooron nañ ba pére sax ak ciawarté waye suñu mënu wona jéna pousse may ñaan ministry of trade nga xamné ñom ñoko xéet pour ñu fexé li am because in collaboration la ak indian government so ñom di nañ dimbalé ci equipment bi ñoo soxla ak training bi tamit that would be a very good start ignore_time_segment_in_scoring ning fengo finata ning tiyo finata rek ikaji rek ko aka safuna ning tuwaño finata ikaji aka safuna ning mano finata ikaji rek aka safuna so ning fino ning wala katina ning ning kuran keso me ka fini poisono me ka fay aflatoxin aka finti mo la do moroko so kombe mbading mbading ngol ya fu nyaren doctor ramone doc en dena fi ya men fu akuma suwa ko ta kuma ta bakel mo nyanta mudu na comment comment on ka menken mamol ka menkeno nyanta muru na ko kulima leka because ko manto ma nyi problem wa so nga 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 na ko le falin wala na nyi problem wal bina kan na 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 banko ka senegal mamol ka seno keno nyame nga mere nyanta ko ma fele lalay muru ya ke ko ngol ka ke nyame a mel fanan ka wafiro ke mamol ka keno nyame nga muru ngol kan nyet yo ta ni pare ta jani wa tabila ya tombo ya safu no nyinta tia safu no nyinta wala nga tofu wala tia safu no nga muneke no nga safu no ma nyinta le nga ta nga da safu no ti nga tombo nga ta ngol ta nga saf ke safu no ti so ni ngol ni ngol ke nta nta nyi fonko soto la ka fuko mbatu nga ta nga ke na do moro nga di na di mbala nga do kon de na fi ya fi nyaa nya soto ba dunda dale wala nya ke tia safu nya tia safu no nyinta ya ke sa safu no de dale a ita mur la ta di le di mbala ya do mo e so safu no ta ya di di mbala ye ko wala wala ye bolo ko wala so nga bara nyanta muru na ba tu ma mol ka menke no isa jenga nyen kuo kele na banko kan so nyen kuo nyen kuran ke so ba nyame abang 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 mentora kan because in ya je sang e ka je funding ke meren ya je as i start ala man ni ko man ni ko ni be on fay ka fo me jisso angale kan to on den jisso de wat man ni ko ka fo le nyam so but then e ka je le mo harama di wala woy problem so to because mune ka sabu ni of la toxin le ko sabu e ka mo je la ala woy problem so to jisso nyen ta do ko men kala balo ko na ata kala mo isa ja mari yiti aka yiti aka yiti ni asamba lo pia moto ya fay kantale bala ata mela ay fa ano jama jama ni mol mol ka ba kala mota aka tari atarde tabe ku take no laji sayadro wolof to ji o dimi ta dunde yesi yalna ko sayada ma ikola wasiri ikola ma so so wala nyanta wala nyanta tina be nyanta na langa kafu nyoka na nyin kele so masa kunda fele aya a trial with ne na fi ni melba doko wala wala pakati ya try pour ka mol ma koy na ñing kuran kesso kele na ñing banko kan ye ye buko na fi le mi ala ko nga ka faay nakay wala ya safi wo buko ko no ka tan diko ba ñing ñing problem wo ñing ma kele tan ñing tan ñing so ba den ngilin ta no la fo nga kafu ñoma as banko dingo ma sa ko na doron fanan ta kala no be bi na la nga kafu ñoma as banko dingo na ñing kele isa je be ya soto ma men do mala ay koy ay kende ya be jata kende ya soto je andu sa soto no fanan sa men ki no bankala banko to ngan na ngan fangol ma koy suwo ko because ni nga fema wafi no ni na tiol wafi da fanan ba soto no price kende la nga a soto ngan fama koy men na ko do la karol fanan a wara ka lamel mar nga ta docteur ramouya docteur ma ñu su yow rek dis aflatoxine bi ni suñ ko bëggé address fok na né tamit jikko yi fok mu xala ci ñu touté parce que 
lum dey affect crops yum dey affect dafa nek lo xamne staples lañ in africa ñun loolu rek lañu dundé xejna so démé bitim rew li nga gis né toubab bi bala mo lek gerté dafa fekk mu ngi tok di sétan télé so jiko yi tamit fok ñu chain maybe dañ ñit pour diversify li nga xamné mom lañu lek dafa am correlation sep with nutrition ma bëgg rek nga yokasi loolu wax nga lu am solo mon nga lu am solo parce que um uh, li anglais di wax dietary diversity dafa important di nga gis ne su fekke ne yow li nga lek dang de jaxas dal da, ay 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 fasong foods yu bare nga de jaxase um même su fekke ne ben wala ñaar ci ñom amna aflatoxin because ya nga amé mix diet den hanga aflatoxin bi duga ci sabir yaram sabir dara bi du bare so lolu dafa important ñu lek la vegetables lek fruits hanga um uh hena def ñebe findi ak yeneen ak yeneen parce que ñun bari nañ fi ay 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 lek yo xamne dega dega baxna ci yaram way daf de dañ de dem ba ci kanam yene time mi nor fek nawet amut nga gis yena family yo xamne gert comme gerte yi nday na fi wax gerte yi nga xamne mo yi gëna ñaaw ñu def ko ci sen ron lal bob bu set ñu lek domo da bob bu set ñu toga domo da xam nga lolu su ya nge expose sa bop ci aflatoxin aflatoxin sa jo an an leena la bu ga clarify because this was a a uh, a uh, big problem in the past because of lack of understanding ne gerte bu set wecc bo xamne amul ben tache lu bax la ci nutrition ci nit parce que dafa am protein and so ken waxut ne bu nit ñi lek gerte gerte mom su fekke gerte bu set la amul ben bu xour ci bir lu bax la mom ci you know ci nutrition waye gerte bu xour bobu mom lañu wax ne dañu dang ko tan bam set wecc ak itam nga lek leneen hang buñ leke leneen buñ miné di lek um uh, different different foods man bañ nako sax bene suñ amon food programs xeñna road shows yo xamne dañ de dem ci different villages yi set li fa nek won ni ñi different ways of xam nga toga different things not just the same hedna five things every day be abadan am nga lolu suñ amé food diversity dina dina definitely contribute ci solve problem bi ni dega la ah. ndey na fi yow ya nek uh, paka sen country officer bi fini ma bëgg rek ngeen wax ñu uh, ci yeen projects ngeen nek wa wow. paka kom luñ wax ci beginning bi wax na la ne ñu doon liggéey very closely ak host institution bi FSKW pour new mainstream nakay bi national aflatoxin control investment and action plan bi a uh, document bobu nak 10 year strategy la aslam ndjay said way di nga gis ne pak ñoo ko dépasse ñoo dépasse a uh, situational analysis boy set aflatoxin bi fi fan la tolu xam xam nit ci tolu policy makers ye baykat ye yoy bu ñu defé guest bobu ci neñ a mu na ñoo develop nakay bi may wa so ñaari activity yoy ye pak moko dépasse buñ rombé ci lool tam ñu jënd testing equipment bu ñoo wax vicam ñu jox ko agriculture as a partner national Af- um, agriculture research institute nari pour ñu mën di def test yi les ci gerté bi way ak ci yenen products way di nga gis né gerté bi comme lu docteur ram wax mom la aflatoxin bi jéna sonal paka dépasse na lool ba paré dépasse tam training pour nit ñi mëna pour a uh, relevant officers ñi mëna xam naka nañ ko défé bu lool wé so tam man suma fay bi ñom ñoko dépasse a uh, be pere dafa am annually sampling exercise buñ de def pour africa aflatoxin information management system bi nga xamne dañu collect data a uh, ñom doctora mu fi dañ ma de jox uh, data on uh, liver cancer cases then ñu dem ministry of trade ñu jox ñu information on imports and ex- exports of rice maize and um, groundnuts muy gerté uh, dugub dugub bi ak malo bi den buñ joggé ci lolu tamit um euh FSQ wé dinañ ñu dé dimbalé tamit ci yefi rejection ci yan rejections nañ am so lolu da nga gis né man Sénégal uh, Gambia Sénégal euh Nigeria Malawi Tanzania ak Uganda yépp dañ ko dé share euh uh, packagel ko yépp compile ko lutax ñuy def li it's evidence based 
senga jena muna ham yan decision ga muna jel based on evidence binga am si respective dikai ganaw lo da fa dembale tam policy maker si si dikai pour ñu ham bu pak ñoy be legi intervention ñu ño def ndax def na wéti wéti si jiko nit ñi ndax aflatoxin level si taxna mu wañé ko ndax fim em la emon ndax da fa jena dem da yo sax so africa aims be is something that is quite important uh, especially when it comes to evidence based um, advice and strategies for governments private sector tam pour ñu ham yan bor yan dika nga xamne uh, jangoro bi ñuy wax aflatoxin mu ngi wañé ko ndax ñom tam ñu mëna demé bor yoyu pour jëndal ñoo jënda so ngi séné bu gambia bi fu mu nekk setna ah ñu jëna am ñuy jënda be pare wa de ka bitam nga xamne li ño lek ci gerté bari na torom ñom tam sen wërgo ak yaram jëna dégër so yi la pak nekk di def ci gatal way um comme lima waxon rek agriculture fu mu nekk la relationship bi jëna dégër ci di dépass yéna activités yu ma def ma nge ñaan nak légui health tamit ministry of health ak ministry of trade tam ñu jën ma jappalé ndik standard ci is very important té lolu on the ministry of trade la nekk da gambe standards bureau nga xamne ñom ñoy muna wax gerté bi duggu be malo bi aflatoxin bu mu passé nangam légui def nañ ko ci gerté bo dess na ci duggu be malo bi so ministry of trade ma ngi liggéey ñom waye gambe standards bureau tam amna ñu very good relationship fu mu nekk ñu ngi def suñu effort ci ci lool tamit ndax ñu mëna ar wa de ka bi way ak tam ci biti nga xamne ñu ko way yoné lé kay jëlé jëf na fi la mi na kam tamako waato wobe na banka ni ngi bulay fana yila kuma la bango fo am tabo mi fo la rek ko me nga fo ñaame ngi won na diamu la bango to aflatoxin problem woni mbé ko wolo ama ke kuma sa ko nda dama taati wala senegal dama taati wala melba do wala dama taati mbé mbé talo so ñan tala nga ka fu ñoma nga na miralo ka fu ñoma nga ñu ko kele so ni melba lu wa bu nda fanato ni na tay koy ko ah ñan ta ñin ni ñina ñin ni nekela wala ñan ta ni ñin ni ñin ni netula je nga nga faham ñoo fe ko iban ban ñoole be ñoo ban ñoole jang ñan be ñan ta den nga na nga na symbol ka fu ñola nga ñu kuran keso kele because ñu kuran keso aban bi la man toraka aban 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 na jata kende man toraka na fi fi ngom fanam be samba kan bantara banko to duka wafi abu fanam man toraka ba nim be ka futa ñoma on sa ñing keleno andu on sa jata kende asoro je on sa kudo fanam asoro je inshallah a wala ka ba ke doktora mo ma bayla rek nga taga to suñu setan kati wa kam niñ ko waxe ci jël ben ah mbiri afa toxine ah lo xamne la luñ wara bayi xel la luñ wara gestu la am ah lo xamne la dal kom ni ko la ni waxe ñun ñep ñun ñep ñepp ci bokk du lo xamne nguur gi rek ñoko wara sama wala baykat yi wala baana baane o jula yi jaay wala ñun mi lek ci l'hopital yi di gis ni ñi nga xamne aflatoxin li mo yaxa ci yaram bi tebal yim de cause so li ma ñaan rek moy ñun ñep ñu bayyi seen xel ñun mi nga xamne ñu gele ke gerté duggu ak maalo ñu diko tan am be kat yi sama kat yi comme ni ko ndey ndey na fi waxe comme ni ñoo jiyé ak fi ñoo dencé seen gerté gi ñu ko dencé yeb dafa important so buñ ko défé be wañi aflatoxin bi nga xamne mo nekk ci li ñoo lek definitely di nañ gis mergu yaram ci nit ñi di na indi bénéfice ci xalé yi ci bak yi ci ñepp so lool dal la am ko wax jërëjëf docteur ndey nga bayla nga tagato ak setan katé di la wax jërëjëf rek am sadjo ci ot bi because am amna solo torop pour ñu indi different partners yi nga xamné ñoo ci bokk amna ñene na ñene ñu ci wara bokk sa amna né di nga set benen yoon bu ñoo mëna ot waat ndax ñom ñepp ñu mën fé nekk including pharma organization ci because waxtan moy indi wéci wonté helat ak yoka helat ndax ñun ñep ñu mëna wéci jiko yi nga xamné dafa yaaxa defa raat kon ndax ñep mëna am euh wergu yaram be pare mëna am tamit lu am fayda ci li nga liggé mbey bi metti na torop pour nga pare ñu won la né li baaxut rap sax mënu ko lek té xam nga baaxut tamit ci nguur bi nga xamné ñu ngi dimbalé baykat yi nit té gambé di nga gis né gëna wala workforce bi yépp ay baykat nañ kon so len dimbalé rek economy dëkk bi dina improve ci num dina gawé sax so ñu dina yoka waxtaan yi ñuy def rek dimbalé nguur bi dimbalé tam private sector mi nga xamné ñom ñoy mëna pousse 
Well, this now brings us to the end of this edition of the Viewpoint. And of course, I want to say thanks to my panelists, Ndai Nafisi Sedea, PACA Country Officer, and of course, Dr. Ramunjai from the International Agency for Research in Cancer, and of course, Lamin Jaite from the Food Safety and Quality Authority of the Gambia. This now brings us to the end of this edition of the Viewpoint. Do join us next week for another exciting episode. And to those of you listening on Q Radio 103.3, thank you very much for listening and thank you to Parker too for giving QTV the opportunity to go um, with the Gambian delegation to Senegal to witness the third um, partnership platform meeting. Thank you very much to Parker. We'll see you next week. Bye for now.